Hey guys, it's Mel. Um, if you're coming from my um, little uh, first traveler's notebook share, um, I just decided to end that there so the video wasn't so long and I'm going to do a couple, um, just a couple goodies share. So I got a few things from Hobby Lobby and a few things from um, the Dollar Tree. So I just want to share them with you and um, I have another die haul coming soon. So anyway, this is a little mug. I shared this in another video, but this is from... Um, Hobby Lobby, and I got this, and it was half off, so it's regularly $4.99. I just thought that was really cute for my makeup brushes, so not really crafty related, but, you know, I could use this on my craft desk, too, so depending where I put it. I just thought it was really cute, and it has that cute bottom. They had a couple other little styles, but I like this one with the, the bigger eyelashes, so just wanted to share that with you. Um, then we'll go into Dollar Tree, because there's not a whole lot there, but I found a couple things at Dollar Tree yesterday when I was um, taking my girls to pick something out, so um, I picked up these. Um, these these are pre-cut foam mounting tape. So these would be good to back up just the card stock on the back of a card. Um, it looks like there's a lot on there. I don't know if it says how many. It does not. Pre-cut, double-sided, 0.75 inches by 10 feet. So um, pretty decent. So I'll let you know how these work. I don't know if they're acid-free. Um, I don't think it says that they are or if they are not. But again, I'm just going to use them for cards where I don't really use photos and I have to worry about that. Um, just to back up, you know, your card stock when you have to use up a lot of foam because that would be, this would easily, with these pre-cut like that, these would easily, you know, do the four corners and maybe a couple in the center. So I picked up that from the Dollar Tree. And then next from the Dollar Tree, they had a bunch of these, so I picked up two of these. I don't know if I'm going to later say, oh, I should have got more, and I don't know if you can even see how much you can see these on camera. So they're not glass, they are plastic, but it's like a little mason jar, um, but it's an ornament. So you can make, um, what I plan on doing is making a little scene in there, um, like a snowy scene. But who knows what I'll do with it, so it says DIY ornament, then it has this little top on there so you can hang from your tree um, but I just like the shape of these and they're pretty decent size to you know create something inside of there so I picked up two so we'll see what I come up with with those and then um, the last thing from the Dollar Tree that oh and I showed you too from the Dollar Tree we got those um, notebooks that are in my little traveler's notebook that I made um, so these were the two notebooks I don't particularly like the style but these fit really good and I believe this was a five and a half um, in height a uh, little traveler's notebook, so um, they, they fit really well, and you got three for a dollar, and I gave one to my daughter who put um, one of the notebooks in hers because she needed to be furs up because I have some other things in there. But anyway, that was from the Dollar Tree. And then other than that, I usually don't get stickers because, number one, stickers can go to one of two ways with me. They can look really cheesy, and I tend to not use that many stickers. I more will either do a stamped image or I might cut out something with my Cricut, but... Not so much stickers anymore, but I really like these little word stickers, and there's 134, um, and I really just like some of these. Like, I like this one that says Keeper, um, One of a Kind, um, Thanks, Sweet, Wonderful, Hugs and Kisses, Happy Day, Yippee, like just fun little things, A Wonderful Trip, High Five, just fun, different instead of like, You Are Cute, you know, the basic things. Like, these ones um, have some fun stuff in there. Um, this one says, Oh, Snap, So, So Warm, Let's Do It. Um, don't know what that means, but, um, I'm just kidding. So then this one says beautiful love. So there's blah, blah, blah. Just a lot of different little things. And it's like gold foil. Again, I don't know if this is acid free. So you might want to put it directly on your photo. I'm not sure about that. That worries me a little bit, but, um, I thought it'd be fun. So I got those. So that was it from the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I got a bunch of things from Hobby Lobby. So I picked a few new papers, like, um, just individual when these were on sale, um, sheet papers and besides I also picked up um, you can get your laminating pouches from um, Hobby Lobby and um, this is what they look like so you can get them and you can use your coupon on them because I don't think they ever go on sale so I got those and then I just picked a couple individual papers that I will show you um, just that I thought would look good as traveler's notebooks I just knocked something off my table um, so I got this one this one's 12 by 12 I got this one that's like a, a heart foil. This one was $1.99, so this one's a little pricier, so it was half of that. But um, these ones, these other ones that don't have the foiling, I believe, were like 59 cents. Then I love this one, the Lumberjack. I wish they had it in smaller squares, but I thought this would be really cute to create 
a winter one for my next one. This one is my living room pattern. <laughs> Black and white stripes. That's my living room. So I got two of those in case I want to do the inside because these are not double sided. So in case I want to make it so, well, obviously I'd have to turn it the same way. But um, in case I want to make it where it goes I still did it again. My goodness. I'm not quite awake yet. <laughs> Me and my husband, I said and mentioned the other video. We went out last night. We got a babysitter um, and we went to Philadelphia and we saw our first like orchestra. It was Alive of Amadeus. And I think it, this was a movie he watched when he was younger. Um, so it was really cool. I, I enjoyed it. But we were out a little later and we had dinner. Um, so my voice is a little off, but um, I guess I'm not awake yet either. So those were some of the papers. And then other than that, I picked a couple, 8.5 by 11. Um, you saw the one. This was the one my daughter picked from Hobby Lobby. This is a newer one. But um, she, this is what she picked for her planner, and she messed it up a little bit. But you get the picture. So And then she, this was another one from Hobby Lobby. It's like a mint. It's going to be hard to see with polka dot. That's what she chose to line the inside with because, again, they were not already double-sided. So then I picked up just a couple more. This I like this one with the spring. Sprinkles. This is a newer one um, with the birthday sprinkles, and I actually like that one mixed with this one. So I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to make this work as a traveler's notebook because it would have to go this way. So this one would work, the sprinkles, but then these donuts would kind of be sideways. I don't know if that's weird or not. And, um, you know, you'd have to cut it this way and make it double side. I guess that could work. The donuts don't have to be this way. But um, that's what I got that initially for. But also, you could use these as backgrounds for cards. I thought that for a birthday card. I thought that would be cute. And then I got this one. I really like this one with the coffee mugs um, and the colors. So I'm not into coffee. My husband is. Um, but uh, I just like the smell of it. But whenever I drink coffee, it makes me dizzy. I don't like the taste of it and all that. But... Um, but I do like the smell of it. I love the cute coffee mugs. I got a couple cute ones from Target, actually. Oh, let me grab one, and I'll show you. Um, I don't have the cap on it right now, and the cap's what makes it cute. But I was over here. You see, I'm using it as a drinking cup. But here's one of them, and it has a really pretty, like, this color navy blue um, top. And then I have the one that says, see, here's the top for my pumpkin spice one. <laughs> then I have the one that says pumpkin spice. But i am just been using them as drinking cups because I want to use them, and I don't drink coffee. But that's how you put them to use. Then I got this one with the mermaids. And they have matching mermaid stickers. So I thought that was cute. So I would use that more so in the summer. So there's that. And then, um, so other than the laminated sheets, I got a few different things. I got some um, wreath materials. Um, I was going to do this fall one. But I think I might actually exchange that and do what I picked up today. But I didn't have it with me. So I just bought my new ones. And I'll take them back later. But um, I also got, since we're speaking of our traveler's notebook, I also got some ribbon, not ribbon, this is not ribbon, I guess you could call it that, well it says gold stretchy ribbon, but basically this is elastic, and this is in the Christmas section, but it's over by the Christmas crafts, if that helps anyone, and it's by Make It Christmas, so that's why it's, the Make It Christmas is always by crafts section, separate from the Christmas department if that makes any sense. So um, I guess because these are crafts. So anyway, they had a bunch of other regular ribbon and then they had these in these three colors. So I picked up and then, so they were $2.99 and then um, they'd be 40% off. Um, but I got the silver, the red, and the gold. And I think I actually got two of the silver. And these ones seem to be that girthier, as I said, that's an ugly word, but um, the girthier ribbon that I, ribbon, you know what I mean. I'm probably going to mess this up a million times, but the, it's a little bit thicker than the um, elastic that I had on hand. See how thin that is. So this is like probably the next gauge up, I guess. But um, I don't really have any, and I see you guys order these from Etsy, and this is new to me, The you know, this traveler's notebook. So I wanted to get some elastics that can go, you know, work for the sides. And I thought the red one would be cute for Christmas, and I'll keep my eye out for new colors. I know there's some in the fabric section, too, but um, that was a good deal with them being on sale. So I got those. Then these, all the paper mache things yesterday were half off. It's going to start a new sale on Monday. So I got these two um, unfinished paper mache books that you can hide things inside. Um, and I got the two graduating sizes. So I thought they would be cute to cover in like the paper that I was showing you that whether it's this one with the roses or this one um, because that's my like my living room so maybe I could use this one and this one for the small one on the top so this one for the big one and I like that one and then just kind of stack them as decor so I thought that would be cute and then these were half off so it was only $2.99 $3.99 and then half off of that um, actually came to a little more than off because of my discount so um, that would be a fun little cheap 
decor away and a little craft for me to do. Then, like I said, for my other one, I picked up some fall. Oh, here's that other that other ribbon I picked up. I picked up some fall um, wreath materials um, to make a fall wreath, but I actually have a cute thing on my door already, and I wanted to make it for my sister. So I'm going to tell you a little story real quick, um, like, like anything's real quick for me. Um, my little sister, I'm so thrilled with her. So my daughter, you guys know Miss Talia, you hear her in all my videos. She is three years old. So where we live, um, preschool doesn't start till you're four. Um, I don't know how it is in your area. Some people have them where they start earlier. Preschool doesn't start till you're four. And when preschool starts, um, it's only two and a half hours, sometimes shorter, which is fine. I would take two and a half hours, but, um, as you know, Talia is a little challenging. She's a good little girl, but she just can drive you nuts. Um, so as any parent would be like, oh, I can't wait till they go to school. Well, some people are like, no, don't go to school. But for this one, like, I'll miss you, but go to school, and then I'll be happier when you get home. But um, anyway, I sound awful. But she, we, uh, our township got a grant that they pretty much paid for all, you know, three-year-olds in our, in our township. And our township is pretty big. They paid for three-year-olds full day pre-K. So um, it's really hard to get in because there was limited spots. And some people who already had their child in daycare, they were already guaranteed a spot. That's just the way this program worked. So you had to like apply and do all this. So I've been running around. Um, I actually realized I'd never got Talia her birth certificate. I only had her social security card. So I have been doing a lot of things like that because you have to show your proper, you know, that you live in this township and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, the first step was you had to call and they had this big meeting before this and then they said when everyone had to call. So everyone had to call this number and at 8 a.m. on September 18th, everybody had to call. And I just knew like the whole town, like our town is huge. Um, everybody trying to get into this program is going to be blowing up the phone and we would never get through and that's kind of what was happening. So I recruited my mom, I recruited my two of my sisters, um, one of them never woke up, but the other one did. Um, and then myself and of course my husband and he just got off of night work. So we were all trying to call, nobody could get in, it just shot you straight to voicemail, straight to voicemail. I literally called 20 times. And those of you who know my youngest sister, my baby sister, she moved to Georgia, to Atlanta, Georgia. So why did she get through in Georgia? But she called. She started calling at, you weren't supposed to call till 8. She started calling at 745. But then later as time, you know, time she's like, I'm going to try calling for my work number and maybe they'll pick up. And that's just what happened. And she was able to pick up and get us an appointment. So once you got the appointment, that's when you're pretty much in. But if you can't get through on the phone and get an appointment, like there's not enough space for you. Um, and of course it's if you have your proper documentation, um, but still, um, I was so happy. So I want to make her something. So I could have just said that, but of course I have to tell you guys and my friends, I had to tell you the story and I'm so excited that, um, Talia will be going to preschool. Um, you don't know how excited I am. Maybe I can get some crafts done. Maybe I can get some things done in my house. Um, I'll miss her, but I think it will be good for her because she is just full of energy. So anyway, my sister and I love like the lumberjack pattern we love the um the buffalo check i've heard, also heard it called like this um so anyway she's kind of doing her house is all like rustic with it you know with some of the lumberjack thing so i picked up two of these and i don't know i think you, i might only need one but i got two just so i have it and then i had another one and then i bought an additional little i got a red one I don't think it really matters what color you have, but I got this one because it was on sale too. So this was a Christmas one. It was $6.99 and then it would have been 40% off of that. It's just a 16 inch work wreath and it has all the little, um, uh, the little Chanel stems. So that way you can just, um, attach your, you know, tool as you feed it through or whatever this is called, deco mesh. Um, so anyway, I thought this would be really cute and just kind of the pretty, just a plain wreath that I'm going to do with this and then maybe just do, and I picked up two of these because I'm going to make her one and me one, but I, I bought two of these rolls because I don't know if two roll, I think two rolls might make two wreaths because um, I know May made, May May made it, did a video and she showed how she was able to get it through two but I don't remember what the big part whether she needed two so I just bought two um but these are I thought this would be a good this was in the pick aisle um this was a dollar 99 and that was half off of that well 40 percent off 
um, is the regular shale. So um, th I thought this would be cute just to stick that in. And then I think, uh, like in the corner, once the wreath is done, then I think I might get an A for her last name is Athens. So I might get an A and then either paint it some wintry color. Um, I don't know what color. Maybe black would probably stand up well on this, and it would go with the red and black. So I'm going to make her a wreath for her front door as a thank you for, you know, like that's a great sister, a great aunt, as I said, um, to to sit there and call in the morning and wake up early she set her alarm she called and she showed me her call log that she called 25 times to this number before she could get through so we were so excited and that's what my husband you know said too he's like this is like the best day of our lives <laughs> you don't know you guys I mean I'm sure some of you do who have children who just drive you up the wall like I said she's a good girl but she just needs some type of schooling and and I can't imagine like how expensive that would be to put her in for full day you know full day preschool full day daycare or whatever um you know if you do out of pocket so and they provide them lunch breakfast lunch and um a snack so it's amazing they just don't do transportation but that's fine we will drive her there happily <laughs> so anyway just wanted to share that news with you guys so um those were and then one last but not least i got this guy i saw him last year i normally am afraid of ales but i think he's kind of cute i don't know is he scary um so maybe with the black eyes, I don't know. So I'm still in debating, but I think he's kind of cute. And they're a little pricey, these guys. These were $5.99. Um, but I just thought he's so cute. He's so soft with the little fur and his little tail with the feathers. But um, I was thinking that would he would look cute in one of these too. So I'm not sure how I'll incorporate him or if I will. But I got him just in case um, to try in my wreath. But I'm really excited for this one. And I'm going to start making it now so I have plenty of time. Uh, before Christmas comes but those were just some of my goodies from um, Hobby Lobby and that I wanted to share with you guys and also the Dollar Tree and just have some chat so I hope you all are doing well thank you for listening to me Gab um, so yeah so we are very excited for Miss Talia and we keep trying to you know get her excited too so you're almost ready for school so it doesn't start till October 16th so we have a little less than a month um, and I've been just picking her out some outfits and trying to put some things away for her. So she has little outfits for school and get her little Peppa Pig book bag. So she's thrilled. Um, I think she'll be nervous and I think, I think I'm going to have an issue where like the first day she's going to be like climbing up me. So if anybody has any tips on how to do that, I know my mom's like, well, just don't seem nervous and just say, you'll be fine. And she's like, and you'll have to just walk out. But like, I'm going to feel so bad because I can almost see it now. She'll say, don't leave me, don't leave me. But I'm, then I'm sure she'll have fun with the kids. So um, we'll see how that goes. Maya was just like, when she went to kindergarten, she just got right on the bus and said, bye mom, bye dad. <laughs> you know, and she was fine, but I know this one's going to be different. She's just different all around, but, um, we shall see. So anyway, thank you guys for listening to me blab in this long video. Um, leave me a comment below if you have any tips on, you know, their kid, your first day of school that some, you know, that you know are going to have a fit and how you did it and how you survived it. So I'll just feel bad. But anyway, I will talk to y'all soon and I hope you enjoy your Sunday. Bye.